Good evening and welcome to Sat TV's Channel 9 Evening News. I am Nisha Charles. And I am Desen Joseph. And I am Marsha White. And we are your presenters for the evening. Thank you for joining us. Among the major developments, Liberian Artist performs on Sunday. Crime rate falls in Bahamas. North Korea seeks immediate food after floods. And in sports, the DFA to hold its prize giving ceremony awards. Details of these and other stories after the break. SAT Telecommunications Limited is the official rights holder and broadcaster of the 2012 London Olympic Games. Support local, support SAT Telecoms Limited, the people's choice. Join hands with SAT and come in and sign up for your digital internet connection today. The fastest broadband digital internet. Why settle for imitation when you can get a better choice? Choose from our five packages. We've got the warm-up package going at 256 kilobytes for $28.75. We've got the breezy package at 1.5 megabytes going at $57.50. We've got the maverick package at 3 megabytes going at $69. We've got the jet stream package at 4 megabytes going at $126.50. And we've got the walk drive package at 6 megabytes going at $121.50. So come in today and join in hands with the family of SAT Telecoms Limited and sign up for your fastest digital broadband internet service today. Thank you for staying with us. Now for the details of the news. Top level managers in the Ministry of Health are getting the opportunity to improve and deliver quality customer service. The Ministry of Health has collaborated with Trevor Hamilton Associates in Jamaica to sensitize them on good customer service. Ben Henry, who works with the association, wants the government to buy into the idea that superior service is essential throughout their departments. Patients are coming, so we, yeah, we have to make sure that you know the way we treat the customer, uh, the, the patients in the hospitals, um, should be just as treating the customer anywhere. You know, where, where patients, or customers, when they go to the wards, they need they need to be treated with respect. And, um, and feel valued as individuals. So um, it's important that um, you know, hospitals um, embrace customer service. And, and this has been happening throughout the Caribbean over the past few years. You know. The Ministry of Health has joined with other departments in the Bureau to take part in the seminar. Clayton Bryan, Acting Hospital Services Manager, says this is quite significant for the hospital since they recently introduced their quality management unit. Although it's still yet not um formally has not been formalized as yet but we are in the process of developing standards and this um, workshop will be quite useful in assisting us in the develop in fulfilling our mandate at Pinterest Market Hospital. The Ministry of Health knows that customer service is very critical in their field and they are grateful for the seminar. Mrs. Helen Roy, Acting Permanent Secretary, says they have started with top managers so they can pass on the information to the rest of their staff. I must say that almost at all our um, departments, we already have standards existing, but you would realize with the changes in, in the whole global, global, Dominica is no longer just Dominica, there are a lot of things happening globally, and as things changes, there is need to look at your standards, your protocols, the way you can make your customers happy, and that is just part of what we have started. You would realize that um, for the past um, two months, we have been offering awards to persons who deserve and um, and one of the, the criteria is good customer service. The permanent secretary is optimistic that the training will allow the participants to perform better and advance customer relations. Ms. Cesarina Farrell, principal nursing officer, wants her nurses to provide superb service to their patients. I'm hoping that all of our staff, most of our staff would, and particularly our supervisors, would have the opportunity to to benefit from this training program and in that regard we are going to pass on information to every nurse that we supervise. Customer service is very, very important in terms of the um, providing excellent patient care. You know, your interactions with the patient determines to a large extent the, the outcome of, of, of um, the patient care management. So. The workshop continues throughout next week at the Public Service Training Center. For those who are interested in keeping fit and healthy, a hike festival will be taking place every Sunday starting from the 6th of August. Okay, I'm Stephen Debon, representing the Goodwill District. 
uh, we have been in a hike festival. It's the help to in between the response for people that are health conscious and stuff like that. Um, it's, we're going to do three segments, three different Sundays. Uh, the first one begins uh, on the 12th of August. Uh, the second is on the 19th and the third one is on the 26th. Mr. DeBonds believes that this could give people the opportunity to visit unfamiliar places such as our trail. He goes into further details about what he hopes to achieve. The Indian Dominicans are in health conscious right now. Uh, we hope that we have more groups and more people to enjoy the walk. Sometimes a lot of tourists come in Dominica and know in our country better than us. So sometimes there is a way to know our country as well. The Goodwill District Committee member stated that the first site festival will take place in Sufri and Scotland and all groups are authorized for discount. Coordinator Mr. Alvin Alexander gives us more insight into the upcoming hike. Well, the Rosa District Olympic Academy has been having successful activities so far for the year since uh, the establishment of the organization. And the organization hosted a Sakarama, which was decently successful. And, and, and with this, we want to invite all of Dominica to be a part of the hike festival we know that it is not the usual national hike festival it is something being put on by this um, youth organization and so record support from the public is mandatory all persons are welcome to register and take part in the activities they can collect forms from the sports development division or the olympic office in roseau and uh, of course we know that Healthy living is very important to the nation, and in order for us to have um, a nation that's uh, workable, uh, 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 a people that's um, productive, we need to be healthy and bear our health in mind. And so with that, the Hike Festival is geared at pulling everybody together in collaboration with the Duvayers Walking Group and to ensure that they all come and be a part of something really unique. The highly anticipated Goat Festival is welcoming fresh and young artists to the stage including St. Lucian artist who goes by the name of Ricky Boy. Promoter for the festival, Mr. Alvin Alexander says this took months of planning. He added that the whole idea was to create a regional aspect to the show. And placed ourselves in a position where we wanted to create a regional aspect to the festival and so through our networking um, with tribal services which is a local company for production marketing and entertainment we were able to source all of the bands and groups that will perform at this year's first annual activity and from the region we were within that circle able to find and bring to Dominica for the first time a teen talent in the risk in 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 respect to um, a St. Lucian artist by the name of Ricky Boy. Mr. Alexander believes that Laplane can be in store for something special due to the rising artist. Laplane can be in store for something excellent from what we understand from management and I believe that Dominica should get themselves together for what is expected to happen. The festival will feature Dominica's very own encore band from Portsmouth, Digital Vibes from Pitted Savan, and of course 911 band which is a new up and coming band in Dominica headed by Anwa and of course these local talents will also feature alongside some of Dominica's best Calypsonians on the night of Saturday August 4th Hey St. Lucian artist Ricky Boy with more on his music yeah, Dominica, this is Ricky Boy from St. Lucia coming to you live August the 4th at the People's Place in La Plain yeah, good festival. All right. So um, yeah, as you know, I'm from Zen Lucia. Yeah, I'm cute, everything. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, I'm a R&B singer, soca, Creole, and all other stuff. So um, if you want me to sing reggae, I'll sing reggae to you. So. When asked where he gets his inspiration from, he had this to say. Actually, like, if I see something that makes sense, then it will inspire me to write um songs here. Yeah, like, if I see a sexy girl, then I'll say. It. 
I write a song about the girl. If I see it like life is hard and like I don't know like it will just it just inspires me and I write songs about it like get to life smoking and all them thing. Yeah, I put it together. Manager of the agent, Mrs. Selena Alfred Bruno, explains how she came across the artist and the expectations from him. Okay, I'm Selena Alfred. Um I came about I was actually on vacation in St. Lucia and um, he was at this show performing and I heard his voice and I was like, I need to meet this guy, you know, but it was really my sister who um, discovered him and we, after the show, we met up with him and asked him, you know, ready, ready to learn to sing like that and I, I really enjoyed his music and he can sing any kind of music, he's very versatile, so it's like, I was like, you have to come to Dominica and I knew Alvin, so I was, Alvin, I've got this artist, we have to put him on a show. Any kind of show we have, he can sing any kind of music. Ricky Boyle gives us a brief clip. Okay, well, I made this song for my, especially for my Dominican girls. All right. This goes out to my Dominican ladies. Ricky boy, I tell you straight up, girl. Festival, I want to wine on you. Oh, girls, I want to wine on you. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ladies, festival, I want to wine on you. Oh, girls, I want to wine on you. Yeah. Villagers in Maho crowned their queen last night in their first annual Miss Maho reunion pageant. The competition, held in Zaman Park and sponsored by the Maho Reunion Committee, featured five residential hopefuls vying for the title. The teenage contestants competed in four rounds and showcased their talents. Creative costumes, evening wear, and I'm honored to see you. their wits in the question and answer section. Congratulations to Miss Joni Joseph who won the Miss Malo reunion pageant. The 15-year-old contestant from Campbell Road won several awards including best costume and performing talent. The committee extends their thanks to all their sponsors, performers, promoters, and all that assisted in making this event a success. Liberian artist Candy Adams is bringing the gospel through music to Dominica. The woman who sings Carry My Load says after 10 years of ministry, she still gets her inspiration from the Holy Spirit and surroundings and circumstances. What the first thing I do is I pray. I like to spend more time in prayer because this entire ministry started on the basics of prayer. And through the guidance of the Holy Spirit, when I prayed enough and I feel that the time is right, then I go for practices, rehearsals, to get ready to deliver. Elvis Clifton, promoter with Folk Services, says the concert originated after his mother saw Candy's DVD and made remarks to the effect that if she were to come to Dominica to perform, she would be attending. I took a drive to the countryside and um, have some breakfast with my mom and everything. And while I'm sitting there looking at this DVD, um, my mom said to me, if this lady were to come to Dominica, I for one must attend that show, you know. <laughs> so that's where the idea was actually born, you know. <laughs> so when that happened, um, I said, really, Mom, would you go to that show? Because I, I raised in the church as well, you know, and um, 
I have not seen my mom attend so many uh, or any any gospel concert, you know, outside of her village, you know. Miss Goodson is expecting great things from the concert which is being held at the Windsor Park Sports Stadium on August 5th. Emmanuel Adams, Candy's husband and manager, feels blessed to not just manage his wife as an ordinary artist, since it gives him the leverage to mark to make more personal decisions before moving forward. She's one of those open and uh, free persons. She says what she thinks is uh, is something that will move her forward on the stage or whether on writing the songs or in studio. And it's good to talk to to have her in that phone because she's not she's not hiding anything. She's like. I can make it today or I make it tomorrow or I go to the studio today or I can get on the stage and now you have to give me an hour or two. You know, if you if it's just like artists and managers like, No, you have to go on the stage now. But I have to understand that besides singing, she also has other things to do. He expects Dominicans to come out on Sunday to celebrate the Lord. Oh, you said you ain't been my God. Communications Limited is the official rights holder and broadcaster of the 2012 London Olympic Games. With the Aid Bank's specially designed mortgage loan at an interest rate of only 5% on the reducing balance, you'll soon be purchasing that lot of land or moving into a real home with one year's grace period on the principal repayment. For more information, call 448-2853 or visit us in Goodwill or online at www.aidbank.com. Limited funds available, special conditions apply. Aid Bank, 40 years of giving credit for economic development. The world's best brands come together at courts. Experience the latest in home entertainment and digital technology. Get this 14-inch Acer notebook with Intel Celeron 1.6 GHz processor for only $21 a week. Or save $200 on this Dell desktop with Intel 2.6 GHz Pentium G620 processor at an amazing $32 a week. All this can be yours with nothing down and nothing further for 30 days. For the world's best brands, there's only one place to go. Quartz, bringing value home. Welcome back in news from the region. Suriname Airways, SLM, has big plans for Guyana. Being fully aware that the country has no national carrier, our large diaspora in North America, and a $150 million plan to modernize its airport, SLM now plans to capitalize on these realties. Suriname Airways plans to expand and modify its fleet to accommodate its 2012 to 2015 business plan. The discovery of large-scale oil, the gold rush, and major airport expansion across the Guyanas has had a major impact on SLM's ambitious expansion plans. The Guyanas are poised for an economic boom due to the discovery of oil along the maritime boundaries between Suriname and French Guinea, and major expansion of the gold and other mineral sectors. Suriname has also seen an increase in its tourism industry. In other regional news, the Bahamas crime rate fell by 9% between January 1st and July 24th this year compared to the same period in 2011. National Security Minister Dr. Bernard Nottage revealed in the House of Assembly on Wednesday. According to Nottage, the murder rate during that period also fell 14%. There were also fewer cases of rape, attempted rape, unlawful sexual intercourse, and robbery for the same period. Nottage also provided crime statistics for the months of May through July 2012 and showed that the vast majority of categories of serious crime are significantly down compared to the same period a year earlier. On the international scene, the United Nations says North Korea has requested immediate food aid after devastating floods last month. UN officials in Pyongyang said the need for aid was urgent after visiting flood-hit parts of the country to assess damage. North Korea has stated that at least 119 people died and tens of thousands were left homeless. 
damage to infrastructure and farmland has affected the country's already dire food shortage problem. Residents in these areas are in urgent need of food supplies as well as clean water, as wells have been contaminated by sewage during the floods. The floods, which followed a severe drought earlier this year, has sparked fresh concern over North Korea's struggle to feed its people. You are watching Sat TV News. Sports is next with Nisha, so stay tuned. Insurance is just a promise until you have a claim. Over the years, automobile owners have been faced with the burden of high excess on their automobile claims. Excess can be as high as $5,000. Do you have that extra cash lying around? First Domestic is now offering no excess on your auto claim for comprehensive and third party. No excess, no worries, no more financial stress, no excess. First Domestic to the rescue. Our stability secures your future. Terms and conditions apply. Call us today. Extraordinary is only a step away. One run, many people. We are behind Bolt on his run to London. Digicel. The world.